Hey everybody, today I want to talk about currying. Uh, I recently did a, an interview, I think it was a senior software engineer position, and I got the question about what is currying. Uh, so I decided to do an interview about it. So in the interview, I think I did not get this right. Uh, it was something that I had learned about a long time ago and don't really think about, even though I use it uh, in my work, I, I never really think about what it is. So. Uh, let's just start out with a definition and then I'll go through some examples and uh, give an analogy that I, I think kind of works. So currying is the process of breaking down a function that takes multiple arguments into a series of functions that each take a single argument. And so this allows you to create a new function by partially applying the arguments to the original function so that you can call it later with the remaining arguments. Okay, so if you're like me, Hearing that explanation, that, that uh, definition is, is not really going to mean much. For me, I needed to see examples. All right, so this is an example of just a normal function that takes multiple arguments. We're calculating the width of a rectangle uh, or the area of a rectangle by passing in width and height or multiplying width and height. Okay. If we wanted to use currying to change this function, then we could take this function rectangle area, pass in width, and then return a function that takes height, and then return width times height. So we would call this basically one of two ways. If we wanted to call it all at once, just like we did here, we could pass in 10 and 5, and we would get 50. So pass in width and height, we get 50. But we could, in a sense, save the first part of the function by creating a new function called rectangle area 10, which would call rectangle area with a width of 10. Now, later on, we can call rectangle area 10 and then pass in the height. In this case, we pass in five, we get an area of 50. But we could also call rectangle area 10 and pass in whatever number we wanted, and it would still save the result of that first function. So this first function essentially would be saved. Okay, so. Why would we want to do this? Well, I kind of think of it as a save point in a video game, right? If you're playing a video game, let's say you've beaten the first five levels of the game and then you save it. That means you can go back to that game and continue playing, go do whatever you want to do, knowing that you can always come back to the beginning of level five. You never have to redo the first levels again and you can branch off of that one save point and do different things. That's kind of what we have here. It, to look at this maybe in a more uh, realistic example, right? Like you, really this original function of finding the rectangle area is pretty basic. So this is not a, a, it's an example of how it works, but not a great example of when you would actually use it. So down here I have an example where we're taking a React component, right? So we have our React component and we want to add in a title. Okay, so we make this function called with title and it just adds the title to the component. Now, later on, when we want to actually add the title in, we can make a function it's called with hello title. And then now we pass in with title hello and we can add hello to that, that function. We now have a function that adds hello. And okay, so what it does is We've created a save point here, essentially at this with title, where we have a function that adds in the title. Now we call this and it automatically adds in just the title, right? We no longer have to pass the component and the title. We're just passing in with title, right? And we get a component with the title added in. And so that's how it's commonly used if you're a React developer like me you'll find currying in use. You probably don't even realize you're using currying, but you may find it in use, let's say with, uh, with higher order components, with um, uh, design libraries, so adding a theme in, perhaps with analytics uh, packages, or you're adding analytics in, that's where you'll most commonly find it. But if you get that question in an interview, which it is somewhat common in interviews, now you know that currying is simply breaking down a multiple argument function into multiple functions that take single arguments 
somewhat like a save point in a video game. So I hope this helps. And uh, I think I'm going to try to take some of the commonly asked questions that I'm getting in my interview process and answer them here. It'll help me to provide better answers and to learn. And hopefully it'll help you all if you end up getting some of those questions as well. Uh, so let me know if I missed anything with currying. Maybe I'm maybe I got some parts wrong. Maybe you have some better examples than my my video game example. Uh, but hopefully this helps and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.